I don't have it all figured out myself yet. All right, I'd like to call the meeting to order for the Exeter Township Board of Supervisors special meeting, November 30th, 2023. Stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Larry, can you do roll call? Supervisor Hughes? Here. Supervisor Ronaldo? Here. Supervisor Vollmer? Here. Supervisor Bell? Here. Supervisor Kircher? Here. All accounted for. Okay. Move right on here to uh, public comment um, on agenda items. Mr. Tom Howell. Button up top. All right. Tom Howe, Post Office Box 4635, running PA. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that, uh, uh, that the video for the last uh, budget meeting, that perhaps some people uh, viewed that but I don't believe that everybody did. And uh, perhaps some of those people in Exeter Township who pay taxes uh, and will be affected by uh, uh, this budget uh, is waiting to get this uh, information. So um, I assume that the last uh, meeting that the pages from one to 36 didn't change anything and, and that the pages for one, two, and three just uh, give a description of uh, some of the increases in taxes to generate revenue. So because uh, you don't know that everybody has digested all the information in prior uh, budget meetings, uh, it lacks a little bit of description. And I'll take, for instance, the uh, fire service fund. They were increasing it from 0 0.705 to 1.65, and it will increase the revenue by $470,000. But it doesn't say if that's all for the additional fire person or if that's uh, in for some additional uh, uh, usage in the fire company. Uh, same way with the general fund, uh, there you leave out information that's uh, pertinent to the uh, public, and and this is a summary, so the summary should have some of that stuff. And you also are aware that uh, the people are suffering under the rate increases for the water and the and the uh, sewer, and then you're taking a little over one and a half million dollars from the fund for the sale. Uh, so you're uh, reducing that fund, which uh, basically, in my opinion, stabs the people in the back. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Pyle? Uh, thanks. Uh, Jack Pyle, 114 Valley Drive, Birdsboro. Uh, yeah, Tom mentioned one item that I did not put on my little <laughs> uh, on my little handout, and that was the fire services fund. Is my understanding that is for equipment uh, that goes to equipment, not for additional professional staff. Uh, but yes, that would be a good clarification. Uh, the items that I had with the handout is just uh, confidence level, and I know this is a lot of. Uh, a guesstimate confidence level and only transferring 1.65 million to the general fund. Um, you know, what is our confidence level that that is the limit? And I know that's you're basically looking at a, a swag for next year, but uh, uh, maybe uh, you guys uh, have a good feel for that. 
uh, what are the fee increases shown under the golf fund? It, it, it uh, has uh, golf fund increases, which I assume might be on rounds played, et cetera. Uh, but uh, if you could explain that when the time comes, and you're probably going to. And we got 750 k listed for public works building. Uh, where from and where will it be built, plans, timing, et cetera, if known? Uh, I know there was talks about getting money, I believe, from the state or the feds uh, towards this, that that would not come out of our general fund. It would come from other sources. Uh, so if we could learn a little bit about that uh, to alleviate the, <laughs> uh, the public uh, confidence level and interest on the asset sale proceeds for 2024. Uh, and I apologize for my spelling. Any gut feel on interest rates? <coughs> Uh, personally, I think we're going to be higher than the 4.77 that we see now, but I don't know. I mean, I, that's, if I had a good crystal ball and all, I could make a lot of money. Uh, and uh, five I have is the BOS at Liberty discuss current thinking for the promenade or for another meeting. Uh, it's listed in the budget, but it's not listed as a sale item in the budget for 2024. Uh, that's it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving right along here under administration. Uh, the chair would like to make a motion to make all communication from township supervisors to any township official. This includes any employee, volunteer, or anyone affiliated with the township, but not to include other township supervisors, must go through the chair or the vice chairman when needed and then go to the township manager. The chair will handle that. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion. All right, discussion. I certainly have some discussion on this. I, I have in front of me the Township Supervisor's Handbook, which is uh, available at the PSAT's uh, website. And it talks about the Township Supervisors are elected to serve their residents and taxpayers. Township Supervisors <coughs> fulfill their elected official duties by regularly attending and actively participating in meetings of the Board of Supervisors. Township supervisors should actively seek input from their residents and taxpayers, ask thoughtful questions of staff and advisory boards, be open-minded to new ideas, and work with their fellow board members for the good of their township. I don't think you can restrict me from talking to staff members. This is another attempt. First it was go through Gardella, then it was to go through Bell, now it's to go through you. This is just to try to control another elected supervisor. We all, outside of this meeting, we're all equal. So I should not have to go through any of you to talk to anyone else, as long as it's re re per permitted for, for business. So go ahead. I know how you're going to vote, but go ahead and do it. Any other discussion on this? Because the, the chair will uh, give some discussion, some context here. So Mr. Hughes is correct. He's not going to be denied, um, or no supervisor will be denied any of that information that he just said. What brought this up is Mr. Hughes has become to interfere with the day-to-day -day operations of this township. He is impacting the employees in a negative manner. He is consuming all of their time and not being respectful to allow them to do their jobs. And the, the straw that broke the camel's back here was that Mr. Hughes sent this email, and I'm going to quote, this is a statement from Mr. Hughes to Mr. Pearsall. I requested pr procedures written and, <clears throat> written and a report compiled months ago. It seems my concerns go unheeded. But you will listen to an idiot like Vollmer. I can see that I am totally ineffective regardless of how all of this works out. I guess that you can't see it. You're too close to the problem. The administration and even the police department is falling apart. De apart. And now even the police department, I'm sorry, it was, and every department is falling apart and even the police department now. There is no way the chief should have pursued the gun range in writing his own lease agreement. It is getting way too crazy for me, a major snafu, and you will have a class action lawsuit to deal with. Not you personally, the township. Can you now feel it, or can you feel it, Larry? Thanks, Larry. 
so this is a grave concern to me. Why would a supervisor go after Larry and demean him and make him, you know, this, this is just wrong. This, this is why this has to be done. No, other, no supervisor should demean or, or give any negative like, feedback to our employees that impacts their day-to-day -day life. And even on Monday evening, Mr. Hughes was demanding the re monthly reports. Well, Mr. Pearsall could not get those reports because Mr. Hughes was here for four hours consuming his time. That is not how this board should do things. We should do things through a chain of command and let the staff do what they need to do. So that's my feelings on this. And uh, any other discussion from any other board members? If that, I, I I'm going to call the vote. Comment. I have additional comment. You, you take everything out of context. You can't have that. You can't. Mr. Hughes, you have it in writing. You can't, but you can't inflect the no, way. No, you can't written. write these things to township and, employees. And my time with, with Larry, I always asked you, Larry, I don't want to impede your work. Do I not say that? Right, but uh, it, it was actually two and a half hours on Monday, not four. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Then, on oh, let's, let's, let, let's, let's make it six. Okay, so, okay. so we're, that's what we're you just, do. The narrative is always worse than the truth. Look. I never, I tell Larry, I don't want to take up your time. When you're available, I'll talk to you. Great job, Mr. Schnee. Uh, but look, you know, Larry, you, you know I say that. I don't want to take up your time. If you're Listen, busy, this is we'll it, This isn't time. up anymore for discussion. We're going to call this vote. All those in favor of this motion, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Yeah, Nay. No. But not in that context. The three, I guess, what is that? A th Three one and no vote. Three three two vote. All right. What was the vote? Three two. Who who were the two? You can go back and listen to the. I didn't. The I didn't even give a vote. Well, we figured it's an A because you didn't say yay. Not in that okay. context. I assumed that was a no. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Uh, so I guess just to clarify on this motion now, staff. Um. E you know, you report to Larry, and Larry reports to the chair and the co-chair. You do not have to talk to the other supervisors unless directed by this board with a board of three votes. Okay, so just for good clarification, so everyone understands what this means going forward. Thank you. All right, moving on here uh, to administration item number two. Is there a motion to approve the advertisement of the 2024 proposed budget? I'll make that motion. Okay, do we have a second? I will second it. Okay, now let's have a discussion on this. Um, I guess we'll, we'll start here <clears throat> with uh, Mr. Pajo's questions because uh, I felt some of those were pretty good questions. And I want if Christina or Sarah would be able to come up to the podium and just give us some uh, quick answers on some of these if you guys have that info. Okay. So up on the screen here right now, this is the proposed 2024 breakout for Berks County uh, or Exeter Township residents uh, to show what the tax would be with this proposed uh, budget. So school tax is 71% of the taxes that you pay each year. The county tax is 18%. The township in aggregate is 11%. And if you break it out between the fire tax, recycling, the debt service, the hydrant tax, and then township operations, you know, that's the 11%. But you can see that township operations in the grand scheme of things here is 6%. And that's what plows your roads, paves your roads, you know, leaf collection, the police department, everything. So just wanted to show everybody, because we all get different tax bills at different times, and we think it comes to, you know, Exeter Township, but it doesn't. It goes to the, the, the tax collector in Exeter Township, but this is how it's broken out, and this is how it's, you know, this is how you're, this is what you're paying. So, um, Christina, you, you got a copy of Mr. Pajo's questions there. If you could just... Uh, give your, your thoughts on that or what KMS and you guys came up with. Yeah, they worked on the 
interest earnings and they looked at projections and um, they were pretty confident in that $2 million income that we are expecting for 2024. Okay. And maybe even on the conservative side. All right. And then on the fee schedule for the Gulf, because we're anticipating a $75,000 increase, is that due to increasing the number of rounds or increasing the cost per round? Uh, that's for them to come up with additional income. So they'll have to apply that across the board. Okay. Mr. Pearsall, do you so have any? That would be a, for Eric and Eric to take care of. And okay. Do you have anything to add to that, Larry? No. Okay. Um, and then on the public works building, Larry, if you could just give a brief statement on that. Well, it was, it was talked about uh, uh, adding, or adding on to this building here to make room for expanding the police department. So it was just uh, a number that is put in there for now. There is no plans for right now or, uh, or timing or anything like that. But that's basically all it was. It was just a budgeted number for if we had to expand, uh, expand the police department into the garage area, we'd need... Uh, room for where the trucks were parked inside for where we were putting the police department. So. And, and where were those funds going to come is, from? That uh, capital improvement capital fund. Improvement fund. Oh, fund eighteen. Right now there is a but uh, there is a grant that we did just apply for, which we don't we won't know for months until if we did get it. Um, that our new grant writer just wrote um, as just submitted uh, two days ago. So it'll be a couple months to we get that, and that grant was for Keddy. Am I correct? A million dollars. So that was stuff that we were going to use towards that, too. <clears throat> okay. Does any other supervisor have a, just, you know, want to talk about anything else here on the budget? I don't. I wanted to see the fire service tax increased because that's a uh, item that we need to perpetually plan for. So that was... Something I wanted to see in there, I'm satisfied at roughly one mil. I think it's 1.06. 1 1.065. 1 yeah. So that was something I wanted to see in there. I would vote for a budget that included that. Okay. All right. Well, if there's no other further discussion, we'll call the vote. All those in favor of advertising the proposed budget uh, for Exeter Township for 2024, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Yay. Tony, what was your? Aye. Aye. Okay. A 4 1 vote. All right. And then we'll move on to solicitor. Do you have anything? Uh, yeah, very briefly. Um, just want to uh, let the board know and, and the public know uh, the township filed a notice of intervention in the American Water uh, rate increase before the Public Utility Commission. Uh, currently, it looks that uh, the, the water. Uh, rate increase appears to be there's the American water is seeking a 32.4 percent increase to residential water uh, on the township as a municipal entity itself uh, it is seeking about a, a 19.7 percent increase in the township's water rate too so uh, the township is intervened here uh, we will uh, do what we can to, to at least lower that and, and try to fight this uh, increase thank you all right and we're going to go on to uh Public comment here, non-agenda items. Uh, Mr. Pajo. <laughs> Jane took uh, one of my questions that I was okay. going to ask. Okay. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, the American Water rate increase, uh, it's been on the township page and all that uh, we as residents need to file, uh, file, I'll call it a complaint for a lack of a better word, but we need to do it. But also, I'm hoping that the board, the current board, and of course the new board, is also going to, on behalf of the board, is do something on behalf of the residents. And Chad, that's probably more directed towards you, uh, maybe to draft uh, draft a formal uh, response. So that was really my non-agenda item, but you already addressed a lot of it. But yeah, 19% is a, a huge increase. Uh, to the residents with what they're already getting hit with. We Hopefully we can slow them down. And then that's a public document. I'm happy to, to share it with anybody who wants it. I'll, I'll shoot an email with our uh, notice of intervention there. Okay. Is this All right. We should put on the website. Yeah, we can put it on the website too. Yeah. All right. With that, uh, I'll go entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Chair, a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 aye.